Welcome to this tutorial on working with pre-comp disparity in Ocular. In this tutorial we're going to take a look at reviewing and correcting disparity using the multi-sample node without having to regenerate it using the disparity generator. We'll look at fixing glitches, correcting edges and working at a selected depth. So first of all let's see how you can review our pre-comp disparity. We're going to use the disparity review gizmo to check the disparity vectors. The overlay shows depth changes in red, and where this doesn't line up correctly with the shots, there'll be problems using disparity. Here, there are complex changes at occlusions, as well as poorly defined depth changes on the foreground. Now this means that rebuilding views with new view, correcting color with color matcher, and pushing fixes between views with disparity can be incorrect. Before we look at how to correct the vectors, we first need to decide which component of disparity to work with. If the hero view is set to left, then we'll need the vectors that rebuild right from left. Similarly, if right is the hero view, we'll need to be able to rebuild left from right. To rebuild the left, you need disparity R, disparity right, to warp the right view. And to rebuild right, you need disparity L, disparity left, to warp the left view. So when we correct disparity vectors, we need to make sure to either correct disparity R or disparity L and make sure to review the correction in the rebuilt view. Right, let's dive in and look at paint fixing a glitch in our disparity vectors. I've chosen the right view as the hero view. This means I want to fix disparity R to warp my hero view. And I need to review the correction in the left view to see the result of the warp. So right is the hero and we're going to correct disparity R, disparity right. We're going to paint out this glitch here. I have a roto paint node set to alpha to mark the corrected region. And I have a multi sample node set to process disparity R. Here, multi sample is going to invert the roto paint alpha to sample outside our marked region to smoothly fill it in and remove the glitch. We're reviewing the results through the disparity review gizmo. So, all I have to do is paint through to remove that glitch. And you can do that on a frame by frame basis or track in a patch to mark the corrected region. Next, let's have a look at edges to correct the depth changes and disparity. Here I'm going to set the foreground region to correct using a roto node. We're going to mark the corrected region in the alpha channel. I have a multi sample node set to update disparity R in that region. Then I have a roto paint node connected to set the region we pull disparity from. Let's quickly roto the region to correct. And now we can paint through on the roto paint to set the disparity in that region. Now I'm being careful here to sample disparity and make sure I don't pick up any incorrect depth changes that were in the original pre-comp disparity vectors. So that gives us a quick way to correct edges. And here you can use any roto work that's already been done on the shot. Finally, let's look at picking and working at a selected depth using disparity. Here you might want to pull a fix across from one view to another without going through the process of paint fixing the disparity vectors. In this shot, we might want to work on the occluded background where there were complex changes in depth. I'm going to use the stereo review gizmo to help pick out a depth point, and I have a Z slice node set up to mark the region at the selected depth. The Z slice is marking the region in the alpha channel based on the subject parallax in the review gizmo. You can convert from parallax back to disparity using this formula. So this gives us an easy way to pick a point in depth using the review gizmo and slice out and mark a mat at that depth using the Z slice node. You can see the mat overlay here. We can use that as the region to sample in our multi sample node. This lets us select a depth and then pull out disparity at that depth and apply it to the whole image. When we build a new view now, any correction will sit at that selected depth. So this gives us a simple way to pick a point and slice out disparity so that it matches the depth at that point. Here we can select a point where depth is well defined in our disparity vectors and use it in the region where there were complex changes in disparity. And that concludes this tutorial on working with pre-comp disparity using the multi-sample node. 
This gives some tips and tricks on removing glitches, correcting edges and slicing out to work at a particular depth with disparity vectors.